Good morning. Good morning. Our session. Um, I will be talking about uh, intelligence. So I will be talking to you on the subject of uh, AI, artificial intelligence. Hello. Okay. So. My presentation is on artificial intelligence and I develop. Uh, so what is AI actually? You know, we've heard uh, a lot about AI. It's been the more like a buzzword. And uh, those days, you know, there's been a lot about AI in the movies, in science, you know, kind of inventions. And today it has become something very real that we use and that we see in the business world. So I will be talking to you uh, on the subject of AI as it applies to uh, the business of banking generally, all right? So let me start. Um, so this is Game of Boss, talking about uh, Leo as a leading artificial intelligence uh, boss in uh, Africa. Okay. Look at this slide, you see two scenarios there, uh, and this is bringing us into the subject of AI, enter into the world of AI. So um, before now, there has been the uh, desire to uh, develop systems that behave just like human beings. We want to develop programs, develop machines that we behave or act like human being. That is just what the subject of artificial intelligence is all about. But there are two things that happened in this, on this slide that I want to project to us. In 1997, talking about uh, IBM uh, Deep Blue, was one of the first cases of um, uh, development of uh, a machine that actually behave, tried to behave like human being. And in this case, IBM developed uh, Deep Blue, and Deep Blue played the game of chess and was able to beat uh, uh, Gary Kasparov. Uh, that was the Russian man who was the chess, uh, you know, uh, chess master as at that point. And then Deep Blue, the machine, uh, was able to win uh, Kasparov in this game as at that moment. 
And that was AI at that point, okay? But moving back to about 20 years, you see AI on a different note, okay? And in 2016, Google bought a, a company called, uh, uh, so Google bought a company, okay, DeepMind, and then they developed uh, another kind of AI, all right? And in this case, they developed a program that was able to mimic again and play the game of Go, all right? And that game, we're told, is more advanced than the game of chess, all right? So, and in this case, Google's AlphaGo was able to beat the, uh, the best Go master as at that moment. And so we saw uh, a major advancement in the subject of AI. Because at this point, uh, the AlphaGo machine started applying what we call uh, deep learning in artificial intelligence. As at the point, um, IBM did this particular uh, Deep Blue, when they made Deep Blue and, and developed and was able to be the chess master, we had a kind of computational machine that IBM developed that was able to take uh, different scenarios of chess playing and then put it into a computer machine and was able to move faster than a human being can you know, imagine and in that case was able to beat uh, the chess master. But talking about machine learning and uh, deep learning, it goes beyond that. What, what uh, Google did in this particular incident is they took about 100 million scenarios of uh, the Go uh, game and you know, send it into the machine for the machine to learn this particular game on its own and then begin to play. And that was what helped the machine to beat the uh, Go Master. So you see an advancement in this case where machine is now learning, taking data, learning from it, and moving forward. So that is something that is happening in AI today. You talk about machine learning, you talk about deep learning, and I'll talk more in the next slide. Okay. But my slide is not moving. Okay. All right. So then the next slide, uh, talking about neurons in the human brain, and then again, uh, the neurons network in artificial intelligence. So when we look at the human brain, we are told has over about 100 billion neurons. All right. And these neurons are what help human beings to be able to think and uh, remember stuff talking about memory, all right? So in the subject of AI, in the field of AI, what uh, the scientists have done, or the computer scientists at the end of the day, is to mimic how the human, being, uh, how human brains behave, or how the human brains act in solving problems, remembering things. And then, so if you look at how do we remember patterns, how do I know there are human beings here and not trees? So there is something, the neurons that I have on my brain that help me to decide that there are seats, empty seats here, there is somebody sitting here. So it's about remembering of patterns. All these have been brought into machine and have been brought into computer systems where images are broken down into pieces and all these are run through machines and then you go through what we call a neuron network. This is what help AI as a machine today in identifying images. If you look at Google, when you send in an image, and how does the system know that this particular image is, you know, an animal and not a human being? So there are things that happens in between on your iPhone and different uh, mobile devices. This kind of, uh, you know, programs have been put in place or, or are there today where these things help. I mean, some kind of AI uh, development that help the system or the device to know that there is a particular image and to define what, what this image or to determine what this image is all about, whether it's a human being, is um, a tree, or it's an animal. 
And this has been brought into all kinds of programs today. And that, again, is an advancement in artificial intelligence. So when we talk of deep learning and machine learning, also, you come into the use of neural networks. This is something that uh, we see a lot happening today. And then the next slide, we see again how AI, the subject of AI has moved beyond uh, just what we see in computational science and all that into what we now see in real uh, cases, you know, real life cases. Um, this particular, let me play this video. Um, this particular robot is uh Okay, so this is Sophia. It's a robot. It's an artificial intelligence Sophia, Sophia. can I you mean, uh, tell us your favorite poem? Can you read us your favorite poem? Not sure if you can hear, but now this robot Everything is asking questions in Hi, Sophia. My girls love learning. Can you tell them a joke? Two atoms bump into each other. One says, I think I lost an electron. The other asks, are you sure? To which the first replies, I'm positive. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just trying to illustrate here. Um, okay. This week, a new self-driving car was rolled out. It's, it's a collaboration between Chrysler and Waymo, a spin-off of AI. Google X, the search giant's highly secretive special projects lab. They opened their offices to Vice News for a rare glimpse of what they're building and shared never-before-seen footage of their early prototypes. Okay, and the last one. You can't walk down the street in San Francisco without seeing it. Welcome to the Hanel Hotel. If you want to check in, please press 1. All right, um, let me go back there. Okay, so what I'm trying to illustrate here is that artificial intelligence has moved from development of robots, humanoid robots, as we see in Sofia, to development of autonomous cars, and then also like a robo ho hotel, as we see in that case in Japan, we have hotels that are purely operated by robots, and these are AI development, where everything, right from the reception to getting to the room, moving your box to the room, everything is done by machines. And these are the kind of things we are seeing today in artificial intelligence. But moving forward, we see also this coming into the financial system, the financial world, and that's where we're going. We see banks, we see major organizations now developing uh, programs and uh, different systems that could help in their operations, uh, putting bots behind them, developing um, robots that you could use in the office on the system, what we call autonomous machine or, or um, uh, autonomous programs that help in carrying out routine system, routine activities, processes that people do in the office. We see here Pepe. This, is, this was developed by uh, MasterCard in conjunction with a company called uh, SoftBank. And this particular robot now help in ordering pizzas and helping people in making uh, selections and all that. So, and it could help also in, in, in uh, making payments when you order your pizza. So, that is uh, a case of artificial intelligence in the financial system. And then we see uh, West Fargo, they also developed a bot. And we see Bank of America developed uh, Erica. And these are all uh, financial organization, financial servicing organization that have developed AI related programs. Now, coming into UVA, we developed. Uh, a chatbot that we have named Leo. And we decided to spearhead this in Africa. This is the first AI-powered uh, chatbot in Africa, okay? 
And that is what we're seeing here. Why are we doing this? There are so many, um, you know, chatbots out there. In fact, uh, we are told on Facebook alone, there are over 300,000 chatbots, all right? But we call Leo the king of bots, all right? So we developed this bot and named him Leo. And uh, within the space of one year, we have been able to roll this out in 16 countries. It's the first in each of the countries we have rolled out this particular program. Hey, I thought you would clap for us. <laughs> yeah, it's too cold. You should clap. I mean, that is Leo. Okay, so this is a video. Audio, please. Uh, 300,000. Having played that, so let me take us back to that, showing, uh, again, when I say Leo is the king of the bots. Okay, let's say this. We're, we're seeing good momentum uh, for Messenger Business 2, uh, with more than 300,000 uh, bots and businesses now using these tools. And you know, people are sending more than 8 billion messages uh, between messages, uh, sorry, between businesses and, and, and people every month. Hey, yeah, that's talking about Leo, and I, I hope I don't need to tell you who was that man, I mean, CEO of Facebook. He said there were over 300,000 bots on Facebook, and what did he do? He brought up Leo. That's why we say he's the king of the bots, all right? So now, um, what we have, okay, we developed Leo with the best, okay, of, you know, AI technology, the best of the technologies. We applied um, what we called uh, natural language processing and machine learning. I tried to explain machine learning on the first slide when I... Uh, did an illustration between the IBM Deep Blue and the uh, Google uh, AlphaGo, Alpha okay? Machine learning, that is the ability of machine to take in data and be able to decide on the next step and be able to take a decision on its own without human being actually telling him what to do. Because at the time IBM did the um, Deep Blue, they computed with machine and say these are the using computational mathematics and say these are the possible scenarios that a game of chess is going to happen and that's why the machine was able to win but coming to uh, AlphaGo you are not going to be able to think of all the possible scenarios so the best thing is for the machine to be able to act on its own is the best thing is for the machine to look at what is happening and take a decision on its own and that is actually going deep into machine learning. So that is what happened, and these are the kind of technology we are bringing into Leo today. Leo, again, is multilingual. We have developed this particular board to be able to speak English, speak French, and speak Portuguese across the countries where we have it. And just about two weeks ago, we also added Swahili, and we're going to be adding Yoruba and all the local languages. Yeah. All right. So, um, Leo is enabling financial inclusion, all right? Because with Leo today, you do not need to come to the banking hall to be able to open an account. So, if anyone that has, a, a, you know, uh, a mobile device, and then you're on WhatsApp or uh, Facebook uh, Messenger, you could actually open an account. So, this is helping people to open an account just within a few minutes, you can open an account. So, we're driving financial inclusion. Then there is instant responses, you know, it's instant. When you're chatting with Leo, it replies instantly, and you can try it out right now. And also, it's a financial assistant. So uh, on Leo today, you can ask Leo to say, how much did I spend last month? And then he's going to tell you, you spent 100000 last month, but I can help you to manage your spending. Then you can tell Leo, okay, help me, and then we say, okay, set a, set a spend limit. Then you tell you that, okay, I don't want to spend more than uh, 50,000 per month, all right? And if you set that, 
Then there is going to be send you reminders when you get to specific milestones. Like when you spend half of that money, it's going to send you a reminder. When you spend seventy-five uh, percent, when you spend over that, then Leo will send you a reminder that you've already hit the limit. So these are kind of financial assistance uh, program. And then also Leo helps in savings. You could actually set instruction on Leo and say. I want you to help me in moving this amount of money every month or every week or every day to a particular account. As in, you want to be saving uh, for a particular purpose, you want to buy a car, you want to buy a house, and you tell you, can you help me save for a year? Help me save a million naira, two million naira, and then Leo is going to be taking the fund from a particular account to the other account. So that's what we mean by financial assistance. There's also lifestyle. On Leo today, you could just ask what is the weather. You could ask um, what is the match. You know, for those of us who are football fans, you could add, you could check on Leo the max features. You want to know uh, wh who is the winning team and all that. All this you can get on Leo, and many more. You could ask from Leo. I will see on the next slide. You could just ask any question. That's the point. We are building an assistant that can help you to just ask anything as far as financial services and lifestyle is concerned. And then, um, it's available on the most popular chat uh, platforms. Today, Facebook and uh, WhatsApp are the most popular uh, social media platforms, and then Leo is available on both platforms. Okay, now I just want to show you a few of the statistics that we have on Leo. Within the one year that we've rolled out this platform, Average time to open an account is five minutes. Five minutes, I mean it, five minutes. And you can try it out, five minutes you open an account. And then um, the, we see that this is attracting and also becoming more useful for people within the age of 18 to 34. We've seen people above 65, in fact 5% of the People on Leo, they are above 65 years, so we have the oldest there. But 72% uh, of the people that we have, of the customers on Leo, the subscribers, 72% of them are within the age of 18 to 34. And then um, we hit a million subscribers within a year. A million subscribers. And we're moving fast into the 2 million right now, so it's growing very fast. And then lastly, we also, sorry, uh, yeah, 70 million conversations has happened on this platform today. So there's a lot happening. People are conversing. People are coming to the platform asking questions and asking questions, and then Leo responds. And there is also the, uh, what we call the handover facility on this platform, where uh, the bot is learning, as I told you, there's machine learning going on, and so the more you interact with the bot, it's taking data and be able to respond next time, but at the moment, the bot does not have an answer to your question, it's able to also hand you over to a human agent in our call center. This is happening seamlessly. So people chat with the bot, and then they have questions that the bot does not have an answer to because the bot is working on, I mean, it's replying based on data and also learning in the process. Then it hands you over to a human being, and then you will also know that somebody is responding to you. So there's no time that you come to the bot that you shouldn't get uh, an answer to uh, any complaint that you bring to the bot. These are the things happening on Leo today and many more, there's a lot more that we're doing, and I believe that you can try out Leo. I'm sure many of us, we have uh, assets, or we are enrolled on Leo, but if you are not, you can check out Leo on our Facebook and also on WhatsApp platform. Thank you very much. So I will be open to take uh, questions, but before that, I just want to show you some of the use cases that we have on Leo. If you look at this, this is on, on the, uh, okay, sorry. The first one here is on the lifestyle, okay? It's on the lifestyle, and there you can see La Liga and all the sports stuff here. 
okay? And then here is uh, Leo helping a customer to do uh, a transfer, all right? That is, no, the second one, that is uh, setting up savings or uh, limits on, on your spending. That's what is happening on the second one. You see, you say you currently subscribe to a spend limit of 20K, and renewal date is this. So if you are subscribed, and if you are not subscribed, you could set it up. And then the last one is the customer actually doing a transfer, all right? You can send money, you can buy airtime, you can pay bills. So these are, you know, key, some of the uh, examples of the use cases that we have on Leo. But right here, actually, if you look at this, there's a lot happening here. Because apart from the football, you see, check weather. It's able to tell you the weather, and it's able to also give you um, weather forecast for five days for any city in the world. Any city in the world. Okay? And you could just come to Leo and ask um, about uh, also nations in the world, who is the president of this nation. You could ask about popular music, um, who is the... Uh, or who is Michael Jackson, for example, okay? Or you bring out one of the tracks and put it there, and then Leo is going to tell you, okay, this particular one was done by uh, Tupac, right? So these are the things uh, that we have on Leo and a lot more happening. What you should do is explore this platform. This is the first AI-backed, uh, AI-powered chatbot in Africa. We are here to lead, and we continue to lead this. Thank you very much. Okay, so I will be ready to take questions. This is what I have to show you this morning. I'll be ready to take questions. It's time to interact.